oh my god, these nails are so cute. They're so simple, but so cute. And I friggin love them. And look, there's more than just me doing the set of nails. I've added other stuff in here. So pat on the back to me. So this is my lady. This is a set. She's not even wearing this set anymore. She's coming again since. And I've got that video to edit today too. That's how behind I am. I'm just a bit useless. We're all used to it now. Not apologizing. You all love me for it. I'm sure. Maybe. Kind of. Anyway. I'm going to file off her previous set. Um, I'm pretty much just going to leave this video playing um, of me filing off the previous set. If you'd like to know where I get my e-file bit from, then please check out my website, misslucy's.co.uk. I've got a list of recommended products on there. I get asked this a lot. People are always like, oh, where'd you get this and where'd you get that? If you just go to the website, my recommended products, there are links on there. Um, yeah, it's not me not wanting to chat to people, but I get a lot of the same questions being asked. So just check the website, check the product description below. It's all in there for you. And that goes for my fan extractor and everything too. So yeah, so I'm just going to file this set down to a thin, clear base. Um, and yeah, then I'm going to rejoin you. I don't know. I can't even remember filming this. So I'm going to let the video play and then I'm going to see if I want to talk again in a bit.
So that was six minutes of excitement, I'm sure, of me filing down to a thin, clear base. I then dust off the nails, I apply my primer and my prep and everything like that, and then I'm just going to pop a thin, clear base on all of these nails. So in this set, I'm using all CJP and I'm starting off with magenta. I need to do a CJP order and I need to buy the biggest pot of this known to man because it's coming, you know, the sun is coming out. It's actually quite sunny. It's windy as hell out today, but it's looking quite sunny in beautiful Suffolk. And this is one of those colours I use so much. As soon as the sun comes out, as soon as it gets summery, magenta 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 so if you don't own it you need to get it from cjp um and yeah so i'm applying that at the tip and i'm blending up and then i'm going to come in with another cjp color which is amore which is the most gorgeous pinky pink 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 um cover pink 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 but what i've done is i've added a little bit of the glitter fairy in willow pretty sure it's willow which is like a super super fine crystally gold glitter so i tend to i don't always i don't really buy glitter cover pinks i tend to make them myself so i will have my crystal glitters and add them to the cover pinks myself which is what i've done here um so i'm literally just going to do an ombre on every single nail um, i need to address the state of my nails i had had a really stressful few weeks and when i get stressed i don't even realize i'm doing it I pick at crystals, um, like physically chew them off my nails. I don't even realise I'm doing it. And then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, I've just chewed off some more crystals. So a lot of my crystals are missing on this set of nails because I had literally just sat there chewing them off like a little crystal gerbil. That's, well, that sounds quite cute, but in not. Think of me. Yeah, well, no, no, it's not cool. Anyway, so yeah, they are looking a mess. Um, I'm not going to apologise for the dust. We've had this discussion numerous times. You've just seen. I think that's that might have been why I added this video, actually, because I was like, why? I'm just going to show people the amount of dust that comes off my lady's nails so that when they start complaining, you've got dust on your nails, I'm like, trust me, honey, it's nothing to what I had like five minutes ago. So... I'm literally just going to apply magenta to all of these nails and then we're going to come back and do the Amore and then I'm going to cap all of them at the end. So sometimes it's easier if I'm doing a full set of um, ombres. I kind of do all one colour, then the other and then the other. It depends what you prefer doing but that's just one way I find it easier. So I've done all my Amore, not Amore tips, magenta tips. So I'm now going to come along and do my Amore at the cuticle area and blend down and over. I also think when you're doing ombres, if you have a glitter in your cover pink, it can help soften and, and blur because like glitter is so light refracting that it can help make the ombre blend that little bit smoother. So if you're not as established as you'd like to be with your ombres, that's a cool tip to make sure you pop a little glitter in your cover pink. Or use like a shimmer pigment over the top because it just blurs it all nicely.
and then when we're all done I'm going to cap all of these nails in negligible negligee but I always call it negligible which is a transparent pink now what this is going to do is first of all when you cap an ombre in a transparent pink rather than a clear it will soften the ombre again so it helps make the ombre look super smooth um, it will also make these pink colors really pop which is why I wanted to cap pink on pink with more pink And then we're all done. I'm going to file these in. I did speed this up because you guys have seen me file so many times now. But yeah, so I'm doing my usual filing technique. Side wall, side wall, free edge around the cuticle area and then down the body of the nail. So I'm going to do this on all of these nails until they're all filed into shape. And then I'm going to dust off, put my dust extractor away and then it's by magic. Ta-da! I'm going to apply some top coat. So yeah, I'll apply my top coat and then I'm going to cure for 60 seconds in my LED light. And then when it's all cured, I'm going to use some gel paint. This is a colour I mixed myself. So I used a pink and a white just to create a really nice light dusky pink. And I'm just going to add like little leopard print design. Just kind of sweeping on the side of the accent nails on this set.
Then when I'm happy with the design, I'm just going to pop this in my LED light. This is a double cure, so that I had 120 seconds. And then when we're all done, I'm applying some cuticle oil. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, guys. I mean, you just can't beat a pink ombre with a bit of leopard print. It's timeless. It's classic. It's the new red, if you ask me. Boom. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And I hope to see you all again soon. Bye! Thank you so much for taking the time to watch my video guys if you want to see more like this remember to head on over to my channel click the subscribe button and make that bell ring and then you'll get notifications every time i share a new video thanks for tuning in bye